I'm Dr. Lee. I'm an English lecturer by profession. Uh, I'd like to share some um, tips with you about uh, learning English. Now, but before that, maybe it's, it's, it's useful to understand a little bit about um, uh, English and Malaysian English, or what some people like to refer to as Manglish. Um, actually, nowadays uh, we, we acknowledge different varieties of English. So Malaysian English is actually one of the varieties, uh, legitimate varieties of English. You know, there's Singapore English, there's Australian English called Strine, and uh, American English, of course, Nigerian English, and so on. Um, and you might say, well, if it is a legitimate variety, why not we just speak Malaysian English? What's wrong with speaking Malaysian English? Malaysian English is recognized as a legitimate variety. Um, however, we have to realize that um, there are different levels of formality in, in using Malaysian English. Now, some people uh, refer to Malaysian English as Manglish. I don't really think we should use that term though because Manglish is mangled English and we don't all speak mangled English. Actually, the kind of English that is um, considered Manglish would be the kind spoken by people who have not been properly taught the language. So, um, for example, somebody who has never been to school or who has not been to higher levels of schooling might uh, speak Manglish without verbs, without the right tenses and so on. But the rest of us, well like me, I speak Malaysian English as a variety of English. And you notice that I don't have a particular accent. I don't speak American accent in an, in an American accent or an English accent or whatever. Um, but the, 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 the level of formality that I use now is the, the level that I would use in a more formal situation, like when I'm trying to teach somebody English, definitely I should speak uh, more correctly. Um, but if I were to meet up with old friends over a cup of coffee or teh tarik, I wouldn't be speaking this way. My friends would think me very weird if I spoke this way to them. You know, so uh, just, just by way of illustration, let me just show you how different uh, you know, the, 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 different variety, uh, the different levels of formality would be. Okay, let's say I go to the um, uh, Pasar Malam, okay? And I want to, to buy uh, a bunch of bananas and I want to ask how much. So, if I were to say, speak like this, Excuse me, sir, how much is a kilo of bananas? The poor guy, the Pasar Malam is going to say, Eh, lu cakap apa? Right, so I, I would say something like, How much ah? How much are the bananas, one kilo? That, that is informal. So, do you get it? The, the, the level of informal, uh, informal to informal is, is, is quite fluid. I cannot say for sure that there are two levels or three levels, but there is a range of formality. When we use uh, different, uh, different levels of formality. You know, for example, when you are at home, you like to wear something comfortable. Yeah? I mean, some people wear sarong and uh, singlet or uh, some people wear shorts and you feel comfortable because you, you, you just want to lounge around at home or do your housework and so on. But if you were to go out and meet a client, you surely don't want to be seen wearing a sarong and a singlet or shorts, right? So in, in the same way, uh, we can be comfortable speaking our Malaysian variety, the lower, less formal variety of English with our friends and family, with our children, you know. Uh, but when we go and we, when we work um, with other people, we want to have a more professional image and therefore we should speak the more formal variety. Uh, I think we all want to do that because we need to create a good impression when we meet our clients or we want to sell something, you know, to people. So, um, so I hope you get my point about uh, the different levels of formality and why it is important uh, not, not, I'm not saying that we abandon our Malaysian English because I love Malaysian English. It makes me feel so at home and so comfortable. And it has been said that if you are anywhere in the world and you hear somebody who speaks Malaysian English, your heart gives a leap and you say, oh, good, 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 I'm meeting a fellow Malaysian. It's what makes us special. 
But at the same time, we've got to realise that for other people in the world or other people in different contexts to understand us well and to have a good impression of us, we have to speak a different level, at a different level of formality.